everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and we've reached 1000 subscribers so I actually printed this out and I actually have a 3D printer now but that's for a whole other video but anyways thank you guys that subscribe thank you for subscribing me and supporting me and letting me reach this 1000 subscriber goal but anyways in this video I will be starting off the 15 fan mega ultimate fan review roundup so these will consist on fans from like major retailers uh, major brands such as Corsair, Fractal Design, NZXT and other things and also some lesser known fans and these will be basically pretty in-depth at least that's what I'm aiming to do so in this video it'll be the first part of a few parts series still not sure how many parts but stay tuned for the next part in this part we'll be taking a look at the build quality of the each fan system themselves and we'll take a look at how good their quality and how well they're put together basically so yeah let's take a look noctua nff12 high static pressure focus flow design from noctua packaging i didn't bring but it's just a simple box with no accessories except for silver fan screws seven bladed fan design for static pressure low blade angle also has some design features for enhanced airflow and noise such as notch guide vanes also surface dents and dimples and also surface grooves on the side to reduce noise very nice rubber corners to dampen noise it's brown but i changed it to blue also very nice metal sticker on the back of the fan cable is not very nice rubber sleeved not my favorite also can still see the cabling which is colored instead of black so otherwise it's a very high quality fan from Noxua frame doesn't flex fan spins very smoothly six phase three, three pole motor different than the other fans much more efficient spins better also Noxua's fluid dynamic bearing SSO2 Overall, high quality fan, except for the cable, which I don't like. YS Tech fan, 2600 RPM, FD121225 HB model, double ball bearing, four pole, two face motor, same as standard fans, spins really smooth. Also, the frame is quite rigid, solid, for especially for a cheap fan. The cable is terrible with these ketchup and mustard cables NZXT stock case fans 12 cm FN122 RB 1200 RPM 9 bladed airflow design fan blades frame is cut out and doesn't have much rigidity the cable is black so the cable looks nice otherwise the fan bearing is not the most stable, you can see it flex. Corsair SP120L comes with Corsair Hydro Coolers. Frame is kind of flimsy, twists and flexes. Black cable looks nice. 7 fan blade, high airflow, uh, high static pressure design, SP120, high static pressure design. 7 blades, high static pressure design fan blades Riven Kiran fan Box is very nice, shows all the pictures All the specifications and the features Pretty clear on what's included Accessories in separate box User manual Some black fan screws A white PWM splitter Good accessories. Fan itself is quite nice looking. White design. Kind of flimsy because the frame is thin. Motor is a typical four pole, two phase motor. Nothing fancy. The fan motor is kind of wobbly. So that's not too good. Cable is sleeved really nicely. Black cables. Also has the RGB settings on this button fan blade seems to be designed for airflow 
rubber corners to reduce vibration. Riven Cold Wing Fan, Cold Wing 12, 2000 RPM version. Box is quite nice for a cheap fan like this. Has a window, shows the fan. Shows all the specifications and also the features. Accessories on the side. Silver metal screws, I don't like that. Prefer black ones. Riven sticker. Also colorful ketchup and mustard Molex 2 fan 4 pin adapter. Not good. Fan is yellow and quite striking looking. Airflow fan blade design. The fan is quite wobbly. Also the fan frame doesn't impress me. It catches on the fan blade if you squeeze. Also the cable is colorful and the sleeving job is not the best. Can see through it. Quality is, doesn't feel too premium. At least it looks yellow and nice. Noise blocker and the e-loop fan. Box feels kind of cheap for an expensive fan. At least shows features and specifications. 1300 RPM of B12-2 version. Accessories come out first, then the fan. Fan actually feels quite solid and high quality. Fan blades are unique with a ring meant to provide more static pressure. Wide seven bladed and uh, six bladed fan. Unique design. Small fan hub, less dead spot, normal 4-pole, 2-phase motor, colorful cables, which is not nice, at least it's not yellow, so it doesn't clash too badly. Short cables, but the accessories like cable extension make up for it. Also, multiple mounting options for radiators and case mounting. Overall, feels quite premium. Noise blocker, Black Silent Pro fan. Again, the box doesn't feel like a expensive fan's box. At least it shows the features and specifications again. Also shows all the engineering features again. So quite handy. 1400 RPM, non payable version. Loads of accessories comes out first. Fan itself looks unique with the glossy fan blades and matte frame. Otherwise, it look, feels kind of cheap when you touch the fan blades. The motor itself is quite solid, so that's a good bearing. Normal 4 pole 2 phase motor with colorful blades, uh, colorful cables coming out. But at least the extensions are sleeved, and it also comes with the long extensions, just like the noise blocker and the E loop. Also comes with case badge, nice one. Multiple mounting options for radiators and case fans as well, also as a rubber case fan mounting option. Fan blade looks very typical and looks to be quite normal, just a 7 bladed fan design. Looks to be a mix of airflow and high static pressure. Looks good, the frame is quite solid. High quality fan. Armageddon Lich Dagger fan. Crappy box. Misleading and wrong specifications. Also misleading photograph, crappy box. Accessories are just screws, black screws, so that's not bad. But also silver screws for the fan itself, where it has these mounting screws for the controller, which I taped up to prevent shorting, so that's an oversight. It has this button to color, color change the fan. The fan itself is surprisingly sturdy, it flexes a little. And the fan motor is surprisingly sturdy, although the bearing is not good, doesn't spin very well. Normal 4 pace 2 pole motor, plastic, transparent blades, 9 bladed design looks more like for airflow, ring of LED on the side, no rubber corners, so. And black cables, so that's not bad, but there's too much cables coming out, especially for the controllers and things.
Skype, Gentle Typhoon, 2150 RPM version, PWM version, kind of hard to find, the box is kind of terrible, it's nothing fancy for an expensive fan, it's just the specifications, already ripped from opening it. Black fan screws, that's good. And the fan itself, there's not much accessories. The fan feels very heavy and solid. Feels really high quality, feels really premium. Almost zero flex, very very sturdy frame. Fan blades are really thick, no flex at all, and the motor is super super stable. Good motor, although it's kind of large, great bearing, spins very smoothly. Normal 4-pole, 2-phase motor, but spins very smoothly. 9-bladed design, high static pressure, paper backing, also sleeve cables, but not very well sleeved, you can still see the ketchup and mustard cables, overall very high quality fan, except for the fact the cables, but very, very good. Skype Kaze Juni fan, it's the Sky Slipstream, basically 1600 RPM version. Packaging is a blister wrap. It doesn't feel very good. It feels really cheap. Accessories inside are just screws, silver screws. Really cheap looking. Crappy ketchup and mustard colored fan molex to fan adapter. Fan itself is just black with terrible cabling. Super high airflow design small motor, 4 pace, 2 uh, pole motor, fan frame is slightly flexible, not the most rigid, the fan motor itself is super stable and solid, spins very smoothly, sleeve bearing but spins very smoothly, terrible cable, overall seems like a budget fan it seems like it should perform very well for airflow. San Ace 120mm S7 level, 2500 RPM, 9S1212E4031 version. Packaging is a blister wrap, not very good. Really high speed fan, dual ball bearings, accessories are just silver fan screws. Also color, colorful ketchup and mustard cables, seems very just performance oriented fan. Fan itself is really solid, fan frame doesn't flex at all, feels high quality, also looks like fiberglass. Has a weird texture on the fan blade. 7 fan blade design, airflow and static pressure, but it looks more like static pressure, optimized. Cabling is terrible again, ketchup and mustard, but otherwise very high quality fan, motor spins very smoothly, good dual ball bearing, very stable, also balance impeller, that's important. Overall very high quality fan with the exception of not looking very good. Silverstone Air Penetrator AP123 fan. Packaging feels kind of cheapo for a premium fan from Silverstone, but shows the features. Tree blade design, kind of unique. Specifications and features again. Also airflow pattern. Accessories, some silver fan screws, not very good. Fan itself looks really nice with the blue and black contrasting. Weird 9 bladed design, 3 different blade designs. One big, one medium size, one small. Frame has an air focusing grid. Focus the air using this to make it go further inside the case. Cable is not very nice looking. Ketchup and mustard to the fan motor. But it's sleeve pretty well otherwise. The frame is quite rigid. And the fan spins quite freely. So the motor seems to be pretty good bearing. And it's quite stable, just a little bit of flexing on the bearing shaft. And typical 4 pole, 2 phase motor. Decent quality fan, feels quite good. 
not too premium but quite good. Fractal Design HF 12 fan, Fractal Design Venturi series. Packaging is by far the most premium and awesome packaging. Features on the back and specifications. Open up flap for the window to see the fan itself. Also the accessories inside is shown and the features of the fan. Black fan screws I really like. Low noise, low noise adapter to reduce fan speed. Very nice fan, feels super high quality, almost zero flex. Very nice thick blades and frame, really weighty. Nice rubber corners, rubbers made, corners made out of full of, corners made out of rubber fully. Super vibration dampening. Back fan sticker is metal, feels very, very, very premium. Also, fan cable and sleeving is the best there is so far. Black cable and sleeving looks really nice. Airflow design with nine blades, very thin blades. Fan spins very smoothly, very good fluid dynamic bearing. Also, very stable, no flexing on the fan blades. Overall, very premium airflow fan from Fractal. Fractal Design HP 12 fan, performance version of the HF 12 basically. Also very premium packaging, same sort of stuff, specifications on here. Flap opens to show the features again. Different accessories and also the same window. And it's supposed to come with the backside shown like this, not like the HF 12 that I showed before. Because I've opened that before. Looks very nice, packaging feels very premium. Fan itself again feels very premium. Super thick plastic being used everywhere, doesn't flex at all. Rubber corners again, fully made out of rubber. Vibration dampening. Also very nice back metal sticker again. And also very nice cable again. Nicely sleeve, also black cables. Good looking. This time, high static pressure fan blade design, only 7 bladed, typical fan uh, blade count, but very high static pressure and also has some design features to help airflow. Very high quality, uh, nice looking fan. Accessories are black fan screws and also a Y splitter for 4 pin PWM fans. Overall, high quality fan from Fractal Design. Okay, uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that that helps a little bit. But the full, complete like performance testing is going to come in the next part. So yeah, stay tuned and we'll have performance and also noise testing. And also other things that I might add in. But anyways... Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe if you want to see more of my future videos like the next part of this series. Thanks for watching.